Yep, right there. We have developed divergent thinking pathways and patterns. You and I see solutions and make connections where others do not. We are explorers. We gather materials from art and hardware stores, the ocean and the forest, seeking color and texture. We are masters of experimentation and of chemistry. <laughs> then I, and maybe you too, we put our social scientist hats on to witness the impact of making art in unexpected places. Just like in a truck bed in front of Tony Luke's in Philadelphia. <laughs> like other scientists, I apply for funding. Last year, a residency grant allowed for a project in a chemotherapy center. With surveys, my team showed patients were less stressed and nurses less fatigued due to the artist's presence. This is a video about that. Instagram, their photos, 
and that becomes free marketing. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've all tried this too, right? <laughs> yes. And then in the winter, I'll take a computer class to keep up with changing technology, and last spring joined Open Bench Project Makerspace to collaborate with coders on integrating sound and light into my art. You and I travel to New York City, plein air painting competitions in Colorado, and conferences in Texas, all on our own dime, hoping to make connections and maybe, just maybe, be at the right place at the right time. Then there are those days when we wake up to the rejection responses, the art supply costs, the huge inventory of work gathering dust in our basements, and we question whether it's time to get a real job. <laughs> we are artists and scientists. We are social entrepreneurs, explorers of materials, and environmental change makers. This is who we are. This is what we are called to be, and we are super important. Thank you. <laughs>